Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here, and welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War Zombies video. Today, yet again, Treyarch just re-added one of the Onslaught LTMs unexpectedly to Black Ops Cold War. So as you guys can see on screen, Onslaught Diminishing Light is back in the game. And for those of you who don't know what this game mode is, let's go ahead and check out the info tab. It says right here, the ethereal orb is slowly being diminished by an unseen force. Survive surges to recharge its energy. So essentially what this means is that the perimeter around the orb is going to collapse smaller and and smaller and smaller in onto itself and if it does that you lose the game and it can definitely make for some hectic moments so i think without further ado let's go ahead and jump into onslaught diminishing light this was definitely a fun game mode to play back when it first came out last year so i'm looking forward to jumping into it again and it looks like we have onslaught diminishing light on raid a classic black ops 2 multiplayer map brought back into this game so this should be pretty fun although i do seem to remember last time we were able to vote for the map that we wanted so eh, you know what who cares? We're playing Raid. But here we go again, back into Black Ops Cold War Zombies for another year two update. I really appreciate what Treyarch is doing, and I've said this before in previous videos, I really like that they're bringing back all the old Onslaught LTMs so everybody can play them. Because if you guys didn't know, the Onslaught LTMs were previously a PlayStation exclusive, so PlayStation got to play them last year, and so now that Onslaught is available for everybody, Treyarch is re-adding them here for Black Ops Cold War Year 2. Alright, here we go, on Raid here for Onslaught Diminishing light and let's go ahead and take a look at the orbs perimeter here as it slowly but surely collapses in on itself so now of course what we have to do is kill zombies fill up the orbs power and move on to the next surge all before this perimeter collapses yo where are the zombies actually <laughs> this uh this perimeter is already getting kind of small here the zombies are spawning really really far away get over here hey get over here jeez look how small it got already on round one Dang, these zombies are going to spawn a little bit closer here. Oh my gosh. That is probably the earliest I've received a Casimir on Onslaught, round two? Whoa, that's actually huge. Well, looks like we have luck on our side here for this particular game, everybody. But once again, here we are back on Black Ops Cold War Zombies. It feels good to be back. Obviously, I've been playing a lot of Shinonuma recently in Vanguard Zombies because... Obviously, that's the newest map, and I've been making videos about it and whatnot, and it's been pretty fun, to be honest with you guys. I know a lot of people haven't really liked Vanguard Zombies, but I gotta be honest with you guys, Shinonuma is probably the best thing about Vanguard Zombies right now, because now that they've added a round-based experience in Vanguard, I think a lot of people have a little bit of hope in Vanguard now. Definitely more hope than they had before when Terra Maledicta and Duron Fong were the only two maps, because the majority of the community don't like those maps, so it's definitely great to see that people are responding positively to Vanguard Zombies. Now granted, Vanguard itself isn't exactly the best game ever, but at least there's something to enjoy for that game. At least I can boot up Vanguard now and play a classic round-based experience on a classic map. And you know, I've been playing a lot of Shinonuma recently, and it's just really fun to come back to Black Ops Cold War after playing a bunch of Vanguard recently, because Black Ops Cold War, you guys know, is one of my favorite games of all time, so it's always fun coming back to this game, and any excuse to play Black Ops Cold War is a good one in my book. All right, what kind of elite enemy? A Megaton. And you're already splitting because the Hauer is just that good. Ooh, what's this? Oh, we have a timer frozen power up. I don't actually remember that from the previous iteration of this game mode. Was that always there? That's actually really cool. I really like that that's in this game mode. And you know, it's the little things like that that separate these game modes from each other. I, I just think it's really fun. There's just a certain little charm to it that you have a game mode like Zombies Onslaught, which is already just a complete deviation from what we've had before with normal round-based zombies. And you also have its custom power-ups and the way everything works is its own custom way. I don't know, just little things like that make me appreciate these game modes a little bit more because it has its own style because obviously you're not going to be seeing anything like that in normal round base because a timer frozen power up won't do you anything because there's no timer to pause so i don't know it's just really neat seeing custom things like that all right let's go ahead and check up on the speed of this collapse here for the perimeter yeah, it's definitely getting faster, I will say. This this perimeter is definitely collapsing a lot quicker. So I can only anticipate when we get to about maybe Surge 25, maybe even 20, things are going to get really crazy. Because not only is it going to take more zombies to fill up the orb power, but the perimeter is going to be collapsing a lot quicker as well. So things are going to get really crazy really quickly when we make it over to those rounds. So we definitely got to stay on our toes. All right, let's go, Brain Rot, buddy. 
Let's go ahead and kill this elite. What's it gonna be? I'm gonna guess Mangler. Yeah, it's a Mangler. All right, get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, he took one for the team. And goodbye, Mangler. What do we have here? A stoner? That's pretty good. And a chalice. Let's go ahead and pick that up for our Hower. And all right, moving on to Surge number 10. And of course, we're playing on the classic Black Ops 2 multiplayer map Raid that was brought back into this game. And they actually added it back into the competitive rotation for the CDL during the Black Ops Cold War season, which was really cool to see. So I got to ask, what do you guys think about this map? Because I think the majority of the people out there do enjoy this map. But I'm just curious, what do you guys have to say about this map when it comes to multiplayer? And what do you guys have to say about this map when it comes to Zombies Onslaught? Because I think this map plays fairly well on Zombies Onslaught as well. Because as iconic Raid has been for multiplayer, this is its first time getting a taste of zombies. And I think this plays fairly well on this map. And I think it definitely plays well when it comes to Zombies Onslaught. But I still can't help but think about what if they just added round based to all of the multiplayer maps in this game. I think that would have been a really cool experiment. But of course, I'm happy with what we have right now for Zombies Onslaught because they made significant improvements to this and it's a much better game mode than what it was at launch, but I'm still really curious to see what would have happened if they decided to do round base for these maps. Who knows, maybe some custom zombies map makers out there can take some of these maps in Black Ops Cold War and remake them for round based. Of course, it would be on the BO3 game system and how that game works, but eh, still, it'd be kind of cool to see. And honestly, it's very plausible to do that because I've already seen people poured over the Black Ops Cold War weapons into Black Ops 3. So, I yeah, I think it's definitely doable. All right, Ring of Fire. Let's go ahead and take out this Megaton quickly. And goodbye, Megaton. And we got Quick Revive. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and check up on the orb again. See how fast the perimeter is moving. And, yep, it's definitely moving a little bit quicker. Now, Raid definitely isn't the most open map ever either. And here in the middle of the map here with the wall and the kind of tight-knit close quarters area here, things might get a little bit crazy. And it already looks like the orb is close to collapsing. Oh, hang on a second. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We got a speed kill here. Oh, no, I'm in a cor- Oh, my gosh. I need a zombie. I need a zombie. Oh, zombie's over there. Come on, I know you're like super inaccurate. Okay, I have to self revive. There's no, there's no way. Where are the zombies? Where are the zombies? Oh my goodness, that was way too close. But as I was saying, the middle of the map is really tight and close quarters. That is definitely a detriment to our survival, so definitely have to rethink how I play the middle of the map there. But here we are here in the basketball court, which is definitely a little bit more open and gives us more opportunity to hoard up these zombies. So hopefully this round goes a little bit smoother than the last. The other thing is too, I think I should just use my Hower from here on out until I can pack a bunch of my stoner. Because I think at this point, we're just gonna need to get kills as quickly as we can. Just get on over to the other surge and make sure this circle doesn't collapse any more than it already is. And there we go. Yeah, this circle's definitely moving a lot quicker than it was just even like four rounds ago. So I can only imagine how quick this is going to be as we get up into these uh, high teens, early 20s here. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use Ring of Fire and just neutralize this elite enemy immediately. Just like that, one shot with the Hower. And we got some dead shot, hell yeah. Although it looks like this HVT didn't drop us anything, which is really unfortunate. That is definitely an issue I noticed with Zombies Onslaught. If you have an HVT or one of these elite enemies mantling over something or getting through an obstacle or jumping over something and you end up killing them as they're doing that, they sometimes don't drop anything. So that kind of sucks that we didn't get any extra equipment there after that surge. But here we go, everybody. We made it to the point in the game where... One zombie kill is now 1% of the orb's power, so we definitely have to try to kill as quickly as we can. This tower is going to do a lot of good work for us right now, but we just got to really, really go quickly here. Oh, timer frozen? Hang on. There we go. Look how small the perimeter is already, though. That is actually not good at all. Okay, hang on, hang on. I got through this Casimir. This is going to cut it close. Damn, I really didn't want to use the Casimir that early, but I, I have to. I have to kill these zombies really quickly here. I might fail this. I might actually fail this. I'm only at 72%. Where are all the zombies? Oh, what? Plague Hound! Ah! Get away from me. Oh, here we go. Here are all the zombies. Okay. Elemental pop. Okay, six more kills. Oh, reload faster. Oh, look how close it is to collapsing. Dip! Boop! Oh my god, did I just barely did it. 
<laughs> I just barely freaking did it right there. That was a little bit crazy. We do have an ARCXD in our back pocket as well, and the ARCXD is good for crowd control, so we might end up having to use it here. It's only Surge 17, and things are really crazy. What's going on here, game? Okay, things are going well so far. Insta-kill's about to run out, though, which is unfortunate, but... Yeah, this this perimeter is just really collapsing quickly. We got to target these Plague Hounds because Plague Hounds are going to be 4% of the orb's power right now. Oh, another timer frozen power up. That helps a ton. Oh, shoot. I'm going to die. Go, 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 go. I got to use this. Damn, dude. Wow. I guess what the more close quarters things are, the... Uh the more close quarters these zombies are going to be as well, potentially, right? Okay, but we'll try to use this thing as long as we can. Okay, only 11 more percent. Just keep using this. Just keep using this. Just a few more kills. Oh. There we go. Okay, that ARCXD honestly saved our lives right there. We might not have even completed that surge if uh, if I didn't use that there. So as you guys can see, this is a really crazy game mode, and I would highly recommend it because it's really, really fun. But of course, here we have a Elite Surge, and these are really easy. So we just got to pop a Ring of Fire there, of course. Ether Tool. Got our Shotgun up to Orange. PhD. That's really nice. Level 2 armor. Ooh, here we have an M16. Let's go ahead and put a blueprint on here. And, of course, we've got to upgrade it there with the chalice. Okay, now we have a little bit of extra firepower under our belt here. A purple single pack punched M16 and PhD slider, which could come in handy if we need to get a couple of straggler kills. But here we are back in the basketball court. We don't have any score streaks to our name anymore. So things might get a little bit crazy. Oh, my gosh. Look how fast this orb is just shrinking right now. Okay. We're at 52%. M16, I'm gonna need you to come in clutch for me here. Uh-oh. I don't know if I'm gonna do it here, guys. I might end up failing. Is this the end? Is this the end of our run? I actually hope it isn't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Insta-kill? Definitely need that. Uh, dude, I'm screwed. I can't see what I'm looking at. Oh, no. Oh, no, I failed. I absolutely failed. It's GG. That's GG. That's GG. You see how crazy this game mode is, guys? It's fairly difficult. There was also a self revive on the ground there, which makes it even more painful that we died right there. We were kind of close, at least, to finishing that surge, but oh well. That's the name of the game mode, and um, it's pretty fun. Now, I know we didn't get to an insanely high surge, but I'll take surge 19 for a game mode like this because of how crazy it is and how difficult it is. But what do you guys think about Onslaught, Diminishing Light, and Black Ops Cold War Zombies? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Once again, I really appreciate Treyarch for re-adding something to this game for Black Ops Cold War Year 2. Obviously, we had the Super Easter Egg earlier in the year, and it's always fun to jump into one of these Onslaught LTM. Anyways guys, that's it for this video and I hope you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy this video and you'd like to see more, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer. Also, don't forget to check out all the links down below in the description so you stay up to date with everything that I do. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night depending on where you are in this crazy world and I'll see you guys next time.